previously. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the bi- Nope, not the binding, this is, <laughs> this is Project Ozone. Wow. Uh, wow, where to begin? So, do you remember the last recording session I mentioned I had lost an episode? I recorded for about 45 minutes, I went to the Nether, found Nether Fortress, uh, I died, etc, etc. And I recouped everything I'd done. Uh, and then I had that recording session, the terrible one where I died twice. Well, after that, I had another recording session for four hours, and I forgot to actually record it. And I did a lot of stuff, which is annoying, so I'm going to explain everything I did. And this is going to be the fourth, the third session of recording today. I've, I've done two four-hour recording blocks of this already, but I know for a fact if I don't record now and tell you what I've done, when I come back to this three months from now, I'm not going to have a clue what I've done. And I won't be able to tell you, so I have to get it done today. So, uh, brief things to talk about. I put some sugarcane on here, because I need sugarcane. Well, I need paper, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, I got a quest reward with three lily pads of fertility, make crops grow better. Put two here, put one over there near my farm. Uh, I finally got enough ender pearls and obsidian or whatever it was to make this. Again, I might say some things that I've already done in the previous video. I can't remember what's which session. Uh, the reason I need this is to make paper, to make books, to make bookshelves. Because I'm making magical wood. And to make magical wood, I have this fluid transposer with liquid experience in it, and I pour it onto bookshelves. Now, I made 11. Now, incredibly annoyingly, these bookshelves don't work, because they're made out of acacia wood, instead of any other type of wood, apparently. Bookshelves Magical wood. Hang on, recipe. I'll show you the actual recipe for it. Oh, it's only oak bookshelves work. Only oak. So I made 11 bookshelves that don't work. So now I've been farming paper to try and get enough. Uh, what else did we do? We got some mushrooms up to 10, 10, 10. Those are now over here in our thing. These are 10, 10, 10 mushrooms, 10, 10, 10 wheat, 10, 10, 10 soybeans that are ready to go. We have a little pad of fertility here, our third one, for all this. I think I explained this, which is our cobblestone-y compactor. I've removed the chest and stuff, it just didn't need it. I've also realised that I can speed it along by doing this. Because this doesn't take it from the chest, it only takes it from here. So this fills up so quick, I help it along by adding it in here. Double... We've got one quadruple and three triple. Now, we're burning through that because we are trying to make bedrockium, which requires four quadruple, four triple, and some box of diamond. So we need to bang that up. That gets us six of these, which makes a bedrockium drum, which completes the quest. I know I sound like I'm rushing, but I'm just trying to quickly go over everything. This is my dump chest. I've been throwing stuff in there. Uh, you'll notice we have a lot of obsidian now. And I'll get to why in... You know, might as well go now. Right. Uh, where were we? What? It was somewhere in one of these. Epsilon? It was something new, I think. No, it wasn't Epsilon. Was it Zeta? Yes. Zeta opened up. And all we needed was rubber and plastic, which we were making. Again, you won't have seen, because we were making a slice and splice. Uh, so I needed... So I already had all that done. Then we needed to make a hammer, which was made out of the plastic. Then we need, made some mangaloi, whatever it's called, mangaloi, which is just steel and redstone. And then I found this thing. Generates lava when given power. So, over here is where I placed it. Oops. So you see it's not generating much lava, and it requires a lot of power. But it's okay, because it's, it is generating, it's just instantly getting sucked out into the barrel. So we've got 186 buckets of lava in there. And this is always getting pumped out into this thing, which has been making obsidian for me, which is an igneous extruder. Because our other quest was to make a reservoir, which basically acts as an infinite water source. So since we have infinite lava and infinite water, we've been making infinite obsidian. And that's how I've been getting that. So it's a bit of a complicated machine. It won't be here forever. Uh, this is my slice and splice. It's, it required a bunch of stuff to make, and I used that to make a Z-Logic controller, which if I show what that is, it's one of these. So I had to put all of this stuff into here. I had to make Solarium in my Ollie smelter. And Solarium 
was made from soul sand and gold. And then using the Z Logic controller, I was able to make a harvester, which is here. So this one will harvest these crops. However, uh, it is not plugged in. It needs power. Oh. Damn it. It's not plugged in. It needs power, uh, which we can do. But I've set up this system where it filters out two things. At the top, it brings only soybeans. So soybeans go through the compressors. Uh, the presses. Then on this side, it brings anything that's not a soybean, in that case, wheat and mushrooms, and sends those to the end, where we will end up with wheat, tofu, and soy milk, and mushrooms. And all we need now is salt, which we can get from here, and then we can make the ultimate food for us. That's all done. I've also done a lot of wiring to set up not one, but two smelteries. Look at this. We built the other one where our old cow pen used to be. We've, mo We've moved our <laughs> cow pen a little bit and we put a glowstone fence down. Look how beautiful this is. There's a stone fence on this side, but this is only protecting these cows that we might kill at some point. We don't know. Uh, the reason I've left this open is because that's where I need to put on... Um, in fact, this doesn't need to be open at all. I need to fill that in. I'll go grab some dirt. Uh, what we have done is placed some pipes all the way under here. Because what we have is... Is my sound working? I don't think I have any sound. I'll try and figure out it. Uh, what we have, what we figured out is if we have gold, uh, iron and copper going into one smeltery, they'll never alloy, and everything else going into the other smeltery, they won't alloy. So we'll never have to worry about things alloying together. Therefore, we can pipe everything directly out of this ore chest, directly into the smelteries, and not wonder, w worry about it alloying. And they'll get overfilled, and might eventually pump it all out and stuff. Uh, get rid of most of this crap. Uh, this is our wall of stuff. We've made upgrades for it. I'm not sure if they were in it. We had to make one of each type, so I'll just plug them into stuff. We have a lot of dark steel there. Look, 38 blocks of the stuff. Uh, I separate off cows with liquids that don't go into there, but go into like machines and stuff. These are liquidy material cows. Anything else I wanted to talk about? I can't remember, but we can look. Oh! We end. If you remember, we, we we went down to just one life, so I turned off hardcore mode. Well, what happened was I got some lives luck. I got one and a quarter. It's like, oh, turn hard, hardcore mode back on and accept the life. But when I turned it back on, it gave me three lives automatically. So I don't know whether the game, whether I do have three lives, or whether it's saying I have three and I only have one. So I'm gonna hold on to this heart. And we'll see what happens. If I only have one life, and you guys let me know I only have one life, um, then I'll use this to get up to full. If I actually do have three lives, then I'll throw away two full hearts to balance it all out. And that's how that's going to go. Uh, put that in there. I'm just trying to look. Anything else that we changed? We made pulverize. I think you saw me do that. Oh, I made some octadic. If I type it in. I finally made these. There's like a really easy recipe just here. Um, vibrant alloy, colored glowstone, and double A capacitors. And they are made from uh, energetic alloy, coal powder, and basic capacitors, which are made from uh, gold and copper and redstone. They were super easy. So now, these sterling generators are insanely good. So instead of generating 50 per tick, they now generate 200, which is four times. But not only that, Remember how they used to last 72 minutes, which is just over an hour? They now last five over 500 and so minutes. So they just make so much energy, which is why all these machines are running very smoothly. Uh, that should be full of obsidian. We'll take it out. I'm trying to get as much obsidian as we can because, you know, it's always awkward when we need it. Remember we were making it in barrels over there? Jeez. Uh, this is our fluid transposer to make... Bookshelves, magical wood... That's some obsidian I accidentally pulverized. Well, I did accidentally. I did it on purpose, but it turns out I didn't need to be pulverized. 
Oh, I had one spare octadic because you're making me pairs. So I stuck it in my alloy smelter, which makes that go really fast, which is cool. Um, and if I open this chest, like you'll see, it's already got a load of cobble in it. So we'll throw that into our compactor. Because we really need quadruple and triple compress, and it's just taking so long. So yeah, this right now needs power, and then it will start making everything but the salt. <clears throat> Excuse me, the salt. And then I think we want to set up a, an automatic crafting bench. Uh, this was here because I was making smeltery bricks to make this one. This one is basically the mirror image. And I also moved the controllers to the back of them, look. Uh, anything else? I didn't leave my compound because I was too scared to die. We had a few endermen come in. I noticed they had bricks in their hands, so I killed them. Don't know where the bricks are from, but if I fall to my death, I won't be happy. I think that's everything that you can see. A lot. I made a lot of stuff and put it away. Let's just look through the quest book. Uh, so we made all this stuff, blah, blah. We want to make a planter because we've already made a harvester look, so we've already completed that. So if we make a planter, this is done. But a planter this seems really complicated. Oh, it needs another Z-Logic controller. That was it. And I need a zombie head for that, which is why I wasn't doing it. In alpha, we did do something. Did we do we it's also the hell furnace? We made the did I make the blast furnace? Did you guys see me even make this? If you didn't, then uh, this is blast furnace, it makes steel. You put iron in and it makes steel and slag. And then this is my cold cook thing, making creosote oil, which is nearly full. So take that out. I still haven't figured out how to use this fully properly, but I know how to put stuff away with it. I don't know if I, you guys must have seen me make the blast furnace, surely. But all of this we can pretty much make, I think. I mean, we could potentially make that, but it's just not worth it. But we can power through these. Beta is food. We got the sugar cane seeds done. Luckily, we just had some in our chest. Uh, gamma is this. Ah, yeah. So we made the QED. We got some enderpels. We had that entire box of. Loot bags, so we opened them and got loads of enderpels. That completed these. Then we had transfer nodes, which we only missing a couple, so we made those. And then division sigil, we already had one, so that was completed. Angel block was super easy, the recipe was just obsidian, feathers, and gold, so we made that. And then iron drum, we'd already done. Now we're making magical wood, and we, we kind of want to do this, but it's really deadly. Let's read about it. It might not kill us in this pack. If you, if you do it wrongly, I think. No, this is just activated, isn't it? Hmm, it's still a bit dangerous though. It is still a bit dangerous. It's making this stuff that might kill you. Uh, where is it? This one. Oh! Won't explode. That's good. Unstable ingots crafted from semi-stable nuggets won't explode. After 10 seconds. So I think we won't kill ourselves with that, which is good. Uh, so we need bedrock right now for the bedrock room which is this quest here look which is what we're going for so making the bedrock is easy we need four of them which we can already do but we need six for this quest so well, I'm holding off golden spikes need magical wood for diamond spikes will be super easy afterwards delta we worked through this right yes yeah, so we made a machine chassis apparently you've already done that and I don't remember doing it then we made the double capacitor and the octadic then we made the reservoir over there for the infinite water source then we made a flux bank because it was super easy to make. It's a multi. Hmm? back in. It's a multi-block storage, but it says it causes lag, so I haven't been using it. Then we did we do that? Yeah, we, we made an alloy smelter, which is I think we made that ages ago. Then we made the slice and splice, which recipe for that is this. Wasn't all that difficult, we needed solarium, which we knew how to make. Then we made Engine's Alloy, which is gold, redstone, and glowstone. And then we made... We did make some, but we used it, and we didn't have 12. So we need to make 12 of that, but it needs enderpearls. So we can't do that yet, we'll come back to it. We were thinking about doing this, but something about it annoyed me, and I can't remember what it was. But it'd be nice to get jetpacks on the go. We haven't unlocked this side yet. We might at some point. But uh, just to go back into it, look, one of the last things you do is craft up these Z Logic controls, which we've done, and uh, craft up Solarium, which we've done. 
So, uh, Epsilon, we did nothing. Zeta is this. I showed you. Theta, what is that? Is that the Aether? Yeah. So we did a bunch. Basically, we've done a bunch. My voice is going, because like I say, I've recorded for so long today. It's already going earlier. Uh, so what are we doing now? I, oh, we made some tin canisters to improve our health. You see we have four orange nuggets down below from the necrotic bones that we had. Well, first thing I'm going to do is do this and pack it into there. We need bedrockium. We need to get that done. I really want to set up these to start melting stuff down. But it's not a huge agency right now. In fact, all we need to do is set up the filters for it. And then it's ready to go. The pipes are all laid underneath here. Now I just need to put the nodes and the um, filters in. Now, bear with me for two seconds. Options. Music and sounds. Why can't I hear anything? Let me check my headphones. Well, it's definitely just the game. Yeah, it's just the game because I just load up YouTube and YouTube works. Why do I have sounds? This is scary. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually quit the game, come back in, and see if that works. I don't even have sound here. Sounds. Ah, oh, I'm gonna. I'll be back in a moment. I'm gonna. Ah, oh. yay! I'm back. Hopefully the audio is working this time. It sounded like it was before I came in. Day 150, really? Jeez. Jeez. Wow, super zoomed in. Yeah, now I've got noise. Oh, horrible chest noise. At least it's working. I right, have the world load in very quickly. Grab this. Bunk, bunk, bunk. I need to collect a bunch of that. In fact, we could probably start working on this now, can't we? So, what we want to do is grab this. Turn it to paper. Then we want to make some books like this. Oh, hiccups. Then we want to make some bookshelves like this, but not with this wood. This wood's terrible. We need oak wood. Right, hang on. Hang on. Hang on two seconds. Where are my oak trees? In here. Stupid mods that don't recognize acacia wood. How dare you? Into here. Ah. Into here. No. Damn you, inventory. Let me do that. Like that. Six bookshelves. We are part of the way there. So these now go in the fluid transpose, which I believe is this. Pop them in. Um. Oops. Oops. Why is this not working? Why are you? Why are you not putting? Uh, this is working before. Right, uh, hang on. Hang on. This side is push pull. Buckets. It's supposed to push and pull buckets of this. It's not working. Why is it not working? I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. What did I do? I broke the fluid transposer. Probably because it doesn't have enough experience on it right now. 
But it shouldn't matter, this thing should be pumping it through. Why doesn't my bucket work? Try a different bucket. doing it wrong it should be doing it the opposite thing to what it's doing is it because of this it should be filling the bucket it's basically the same way these are working with this it's configured push pull yeah that's how it should work how is this configured Oh, did I turn off one of these by accident? There we go. That's how it works. Somehow I've managed to turn that thing off. Anyway, it's filling that up. Uh, bookshelves. There we go. Making magical wood. Throw that in there. And it empties the bucket. Okay, we've got it working again, look. That's making magical wood. It just needs a lot. I think it's like 8,000 pair. This is really expensive. There we go. We've got a second one. Well, we'll take those. We'll put them with the other one that we have. In fact, maybe these do work now then. Maybe it was just because I changed those settings. That bucket's back in our way. Let's go in. No, oh, yeah, these are definitely broken. They don't go in. You shouldn't be in there, though. You should be in there. Alright. Put this crap away. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll go over here. We'll just spam them out. Right, uh, this is taking age. We need to find actual bookshelves. We need like something with silk touch on it. Go find some bookshelves. Silk touch them right out. We're good to go. Or even magical wood. What are the odds of finding magical wood? What are we doing? I have no idea. I think we should, right now, make a jetpack. That is my honest plan. I'm very quickly going to look. For a zombie head. Because I'm going to need one of them in the future. But also, if there's any wither skeletons, and there aren't any wither skeletons. Oops, excuse me, coming through. Hello, don't mind me. So, we're just going to have a quick nap. Quick nap like this. Uh, I'm tempted to upgrade my crossbow. It's already amazing, but we've got a load of modify slots on it that we're not using. Right, hop over here. I'm really glad though that even though you know I lost some footage by not recording it, we kept in some of the greatest things, which were my series of deaths. But not only that, also my. Oh, this would be good actually for enderpels. Uh, my instant never explosion situation. I have no idea what happened with that. Let's just blast these guys away. There are so many. I'm not even letting go of the trigger. We're just shooting. The one worst thing is if we run out of arrows, but... Now we have 184 left. Got a couple of epic loot bags here, though. So this is my plan. Get a bunch of loot bags and then um, open them for enderpels. God, there are just so many. I think once I set up the whole Cast Death Grinder situation. Oh, there's a slime statue there. Once I set up the whole Cast Death Grinder, we should be getting a bunch of loot bags, keeping us tip top shape with everything we want. Give me all this. I want them loot bags. Oh yeah. Give me that. Who is that I hear slapping around? I think he's in the underground death hole that I covered up. 
Right, let's go and have a look at what we got. I think what we should do, actually, is throw away all this slime. Because it's useless. Yep. And then we're going to go for some loot bags, find some amazing stuff, hopefully, and be able to proceed. So that's good. That's all right. Uh, the rest of it can go away. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take this. Then we can go away. Take that, take this, and go away. Take that, we'll take this, we'll take this, and this. Take those. Oops. We don't want that. This is what we're looking for, ender pearls. You know, also, might as well take this stuff. Ender pearls. So enderpearls are important because they are going to allow us to uh, ooh, some spectrine. complete some of the quests that we were not exactly stuck on, but not making any progress with. Paper, fantastic. We done. Looks like we are. So we can throw paper and whatnot in here. Enderpearls, I think, you know, we'll just dump real quick. Enderpearls. Uh, well, dump all this stuff real quick, to be honest. Although we do want that. And we do want that. And we definitely want our ammo back. Uh, feels like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Right, so we want to grab some of this. And I believe we have some in here. Yeah, here. There we go. Should be able to turn that into ender pearls. A couple at least. And with the ender pearls that we're in here, we should be able to make that vibrant alloy, which I believe is the energetic alloy, which I think I have some left over in here. Twelve. I think I needed twelve actually. So if I open the book. I'm going to the quest. Was it Gamma? Nope. Zeta. Nope. Epsilon. Nope. Delta? It was Delta, right. So, Energetic Alloy and Ender Pels. We need 12 Ender Pels every 11. Ugh, but they go together in here. Hopefully, we'll remember the ones we had earlier. And therefore. Just know that I've had 12. So we'll make that. That gets us another quest complete. Brings us down into this, which should be easy to make. Iron, silicone, pulverized coal. And then I think one of these we've already made. Oh, no, we haven't made that. That needs more enderpearl. There's a lot of enderpearl usage. I think we'll do this, and then we'll get to work on the jetpack. Which jet did it need? What does it need? That's easy. Let me just type it in. Conductive iron jetpack. So it needs conductive iron, which is made from iron and redstone. Easy. Basic capacity that we have. And then these. Ah, yes. It needed insulated redstone, which needs that which we have. And conduit binder, which is made from... Binder composite, which is made from... Gravel, sand, and clay. Oh, it's really not that difficult. Oh, yeah, we can make that jetpack. Eleven. Quest complete. No, we need one more. We need another ender pearl. Another ender pearl. Sadly, we have none. That is a damn shame. You have had some ender dust. I, I kind of want to get another ender pearl just to end that quest, but. I'm really scared to leave, you know. It is terrifying. But it won't take us too long, you know, to go, um, make a bunch of slimes. Get some bags. And hey, look at that, we've been out for two seconds. Got a bunch of bags. Right here, could be. Everything we ever needed. Let's just throw that. No, we don't want to do that, I'm trying to throw a Shouldn't that destroy it? I thought that destroyed 
items. Whatever, let's have a look at these. Just one end of pair will do. Take that, we'll definitely take the books. It's all crap. And, uh, nope. Well, you know what, we've got some books at least. There's a shadow of, oh yeah, we've mined this meteor out. we got another press. Anything living in the shadow down here? No? Guess it's not that much of a shadow anymore, is it? There's a bit of one. A scary death hole. Oh, I was going to go to Pigland, then I remembered that's where we died twice. So not until we get a jetpack. Not without my jetpack. <gasps> Here a ghost. Doesn't matter, don't care. I just want these jetpacks. Are these jetpacks? Well, yeah, we want jetpacks, but we want these... Things. Give me. Yes! End of hell. Done. Uh, throw that away. If I can figure out how. Also, that. Right, we can go complete the quest and then we'll make a jetpack. Which needed iron and redstone. It said in the induction smelter, but the alloy smelter works equally as well for a lot of these recipes, is what I found anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, we're gonna grab this. No, we'll, we'll do this first. Just get it done. Come back in a minute. How much conductive steel do we need? Conductive iron? Uh, I don't know. Probably not a great deal. 